Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. I want to show you guys probably my favorite guitar in my collection that I recently purchased, and usually I don't make big purchases like this, but it's a guitar that I always wanted, and the reason I wanted it was, wow, look at this outstanding color. Outstanding color, right? Um, and it's even brighter in person. This thing, I mean, I swear it glows in the dark. It's so bright. This is This is one vibrant color. Uh, what do they call this? They call this a birch green, I guess, is what I'm seeing on the screen here. Birch green. I'll give you some facts about this guitar and why it's my favorite. Number one, I love the neck. It's super fast. Now, it's so smooth. It's obviously finished with something, but it's more like an oil finish, so it's super, super fast. It's a gliding neck. Very fast. Awesome. It's got fantastic, good size frets on it. An amazing fretboard. And um, it's got a Sustainiac. Yeah, that's right. It's got a Sustainiac. And if you're not familiar with a Sustainiac, man, are they fun because they'll hold your note indefinitely. Um, they're just awesome. You got three different levels of using it too. One is just a sustain. One gives you octaves. It's insane. It is fun to use. You got an off on toggle switch for it. This is an active pickup guitar, which means you have two batteries, one for the Sustainiac and one for the active pickup. This has a retro 70s EMG pickup in it that is a ripper. It has a hot rotted Floyd Rose in it. Now, before people get on there and say, it's a Floyd Rose special. It is. It's a Floyd Rose special base plate, but it's a hot rotted Floyd Rose, which means all your major component components have been upgraded to steel, not your zinc, but steel. And it has a brass block, something that does not come on your standard um Floyd Rose Special. So as you can see, we have different uh, different locks, different screws, everything. The fine tuners are upgraded. So it's a hot, and Floyd Rose says this themselves. They worked in conjunction with Schechter to create this hot rotted bridge. And it also is a poppin' style trim bar. That's right, poppin' style. Something else you don't see on your standard Floyd Rose Special. So for all intents and purposes, it is actually a special bridge and that is really cool um so let's talk about the guitar a little bit more i'm gonna got some notes over here of course we've got a very thin c neck it's a thin c it is awesome uh ebony fretboard and yes i'm looking at notes um a scale like this 25.5 um and the frets are extra jumbo frets and it just makes it a breeze to play excellent fret work on it um no sharp frets no nothing like that Plays outstanding, looks outstanding. That color is just amazing. Has Schechter labeled tuners on it. And if you look at the headstock, it is a nice straight shot. I like to see that. A nice straight shot. It does have a string treat bar on it and a really good upgraded locking nut with the stainless uh, uh, Allen screws that goes, go in it. Um, I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of this guitar. And what I'm going to ask you to do is at the end of this video, click on the link because... I'm going to have to upload another video because I can't monetize this video and play what this is really intended to play in my mind. If you look at this guitar, this is an 80s, 90s shredder metal guitar. Um, but when I look at this guitar, I just think metal because once you strum it, you go, it's got to be metal. It's got to have low tuning and it has to be chuggy. It has to... Uh, Fulfill the needs that I needed it to fulfill in order to purchase this, or I would have sent it right back. This is my favorite playing, favorite sounding guitar. And luckily, I have a guitar for just about every purpose here. And this one did exactly what I needed it to do. Um, so we have the, the fretboard radius is a 14-inch radius. Um, nut width is 1.625 or 41.3 millimeters, however you want to look at it. And it does have a two-way adjustable... Uh, uh, truss rod and it does have a small heel on the back of the headstock also uh, mahogany body it is hefty this guitar comes in this one right here comes in at well over nine pounds that is right she's soggy it's a soggy guitar but it it's this feels of quality it's fantastic um i i can't speak enough about this guitar it came set up real with really low action ready to play to in about 1.25 for me um so I, I set this up where I dial it in a standard tuning. Right now it's in drop D. 
Um, but I've had this thing down to see. There's no issues at all. So it is a cool, cool guitar. I am digging it. I said, guys, expensive, yes, but you're getting a lot for the money. So you're looking at around 900 bucks, grand out the you know, with everything out the door. Um, it does not come with a case. A case is separate with this guitar. But this guitar serves a lot of purposes, and this is a great weapon. This is a weapon of choice for me, and I absolutely love it. And a guitar, believe it or not, in my arsenal that I just recently got, that I can actually compare this guitar to because it's a really good budget guitar. And you're going to see that in this video that's coming up. If you click on it behind this, we're going to be playing two guitars together because I had to play two guitar pieces to do this old 90s metal song. And that is this Leo James Tempest. That is right. This Leo James Tempest reminds me of a Schecter. And if anything, believe it or not, the frets on the Leo James are better than on the Schecter. What do I mean by that? Well, they're bald end frets. They're stainless steel. And it's an amazing playing guitar. You guys are going to dig this guitar. It is a cool sounding heavy metal guitar. The only thing I didn't like about, two things I didn't like about the guitar, I say I didn't like. Um, I didn't like the fact that it had the bell-shaped strap buttons on it, so I've changed these and put it to the flat style. These are in nickel. And I think that any guitar like this that has a floating trem system, and this has a Wilkinson M-series floating trem on it, um, amazing tremolo. Works pop-in bar, works fantastic. The tuning is stable, although it could be better if they went to locking tuners on this guitar. So we're going to upgrade this, and we're going to go locking tuners on this guitar. Um, another thin, thin neck. As a matter of fact, the necks on these are very similar in shape and in size. So that's why I say this reminds me of a Schecter. This is the poor man's Schecter, if you will. Now, this guitar got some bad reviews, and for the life of me, I can't figure out why. Um, the Tempest that I have received, even the early one, was fantastic. I'm thinking that people don't know how to set up a floating bridge. That's what I'm really thinking. I think they're, they're struggling with tuning because they don't understand that the bridge has to float and be level. And it's not a guitar where you can really have that much leeway tuning up and down without your action going all wonky on you. So once you set this, you're kind of in that tuning to a degree and you're stuck there. So if you're not used to a floating bridge, it's the same with this. It's the exact same way with this, except these are more complicated. And that's why people tend to stay away from floating bridges. But these are shred guitars. These are metal guitars in my eyes. These are made for metal. And once they're set up, they're ready to go. So both of these guitars are tuned to drop D right now. I'm going over. I'm going to put that link right here. It's right in the description below. It's going to be popping up any minute here. At the end, click on that link to these guitars, and you're going to hear some helmet. In the meantime, from 1992, and tell me what you guys think. Pretty cool. I had to remix it all, but it uh, might be a little muddy, but hey, 90s metal was muddy. Remember, it's rock and roll. It makes the world go round. Peace. Recommend both of these guitars. By the way, 900 bucks and uh, not even 300 for this one. Go keep that in mind. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Full Street Beats. Please hit that like button. Share, subscribe on the way out, and I will be talking to you soon. Peace.